So what happens when the air conditioning on your car tests good, but your family's not getting along because everybody is all hot and sweaty and angry in the, the back of the car? Well, welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. So today we're working on a 2008 Ford Expedition, and I thought I'd show you a little bit about what we found and help you understand the systems a little bit more. So this vehicle has dual air conditioning. So it has an air conditioner in the front and in the rear. And so in both cases, we start with, we have a heater core. And the heater core is like a small radiator. And basically we run hot radiator fluid through that and that's what gives us heat. Then we also have an evaporator. And the evaporator is, is basically the same thing. It's a small radiator, only instead of hot engine coolant, we have cold refrigerant flowing through it. And then we have a blower that blows the air on our face and we can direct that air either over the cold part or over the hot part or to our feet or our face or whatever or a mixture of the temperatures. So first of all, I want to show you one of the things that we found. If you look way up there, that's where the, the air comes up to go up to the top of the car to blow onto our faces. And if you'll see, there's a gap in that tubing right there. So first of all, on this car, where we have this cold air that we're now basically piping into the panels of the vehicle instead of onto our face. So we don't have good airflow. Secondly, in here is that evaporator we talked about. You can't see it, so I'm going to show you what an evaporator looks like. Now, the evaporator sweats. It gets moisture condensation on it, just like a cup of ice water sitting on a hot day. Now, this is what can happen with that moisture. It collects all the lint and everything on it because it's kind of like your dryer in your house. You know how you have to clean that lint trap all the time. So about 25% of the evaporator in this car has lint on it and so we can't transfer the temperature and make it cold. So we have two problems back here. One is it's not blowing on our face hard enough because it's blowing into the wrong spot. And number two, we can't transfer the temperature enough because we have that lint buildup. Keep in mind, this is a very big vehicle and this is uh, the middle of July in Phoenix, Arizona. So it's blistering hot. So we're going to shoot some more videos on the front, but this tells you what's going on on the back. So stay tuned on our next video. And until next time, safe travels and blessings to you.